Kia ora it's Rebecca from Teach First NZ here. I uh, thought I'd check on in after a couple of crazy weeks that I've had. I'm definitely feeling a little bit tired. Um, don't remember feeling this tired at this point last year. I was probably was still just like running on adrenaline. Um, but that's okay. You know, is what it is. Still a fun time. Um, what do I want to talk about today? Today I wanted to talk about... Uh, Te Rā o Te Tamariki, um, which is New Zealand's National Children's Day. Um, it was the first Sunday of every March and it's been going on for quite some time now. Um, this day was designed for all of us with children in our lives to take a day and celebrate them, kind of, you know, like Mother's Day and Father's Day, but this is about the Children's Day. Um, and naturally, being a teacher, my students are the centre of my day. Um, but kind of was reflecting and it got me thinking, how do I celebrate the tamariki in my class? You know, do I celebrate big steps? Do I celebrate little steps? Do I celebrate only the highest grades? Do I um, only celebrate the passes? Do I put grades first? Or do I put the progress in there? Like, do I celebrate the progress that they're making? And it also got me thinking, like, do I care about the children in my class as a person or are they just a statistic like do they actually know that I genuinely think they are the coolest people on the planet and that youth are so important um, or do do they think that they're just a number in my classroom you know and um, being really honest sometimes I think I really do a terrible job at celebrating the girls in my classroom um, especially in weeks like the last couple that I've had where it's just been about um, getting in the admin doing diagnostic testing uh, and just chasing up on things you know like figuring out where they at which is that is all really important stuff but I just feel like at the moment like I'm just under the pump and I don't yeah I don't know how well I've been celebrating the students in my classroom but uh, Te Rao Tamariki is definitely a timely reminder and especially at this bogged down kind of time to slow down and um, celebrate the tonga that's in front of me um, and to take a moment to appreciate the effort that these girls put in at school, at home, at work and sport and, and all the other aspects that as a teacher and especially as someone who doesn't have my own children um, that I don't see, you know, like it's such a timely reminder to focus on and explicitly remind the students that I come to contact with that every aspect of who they are is important and that they are a valued member of society and that they do carry um, so much more than than just their ability to write an essay into my classroom. Um, yeah, it's just so important to remind them that they're a valued human, not just a number. So I just wanted to leave that idea there and just kind of urge you and remind you that just because the official day to celebrate um, the beautiful humans in our classrooms has passed, it doesn't mean that we can forget that its purpose and its purpose is to remind us that these are such precious beings. So um, I'm putting this challenge out there for you and for me as well to, if you've got a small fry in your class or in your world even, um, let them know that they're appreciated. And I don't know what that looks like for you. Um, I don't know what that's going to look like for me, but I am going to find a way to 100% make sure that all of the students in my classroom know and are certain that um, they're appreciated. So until next time, <laughs> good luck and stay classy.